these tires look quite a bit thinner this way. You can see it's a there's a difference. And also this way. And I I know I got a smaller size than what's on the rim, but I did do some research. So there's there's ways to get it on a wider rim. It's called stretching the tire and people do it all the time. So let's see if we could just save some money and use those smaller tires. So basically, let me show you what I'm using. I'm not using any uh, professional anything, any tools. Uh, basically, I have soapy water. You use WD-40. Um, some levers. I have to move, remove the bore from the where the air comes out, and then that'll enable it to deflate and inflate quickly. Pay attention to the ridges here. Um, because they're not the same on either on the both sides um, This one's a little more flat and this one has a, a little deeper uh, Groove there because the ridge of the tire is going to sink into that when you pry it off and it'll make it easier did notice that these thinner tools are a lot better. You can see in the other videos that they do have a changing tire tool. It's just thin like this and it's got a little lip on it so it catches on the rim and it makes it a lot easier and I could tell that uh, with these smaller tougher longer tools that it's got a it's got a, a better leverage on it and it slips in and out easily so For the fun part to get that tire stretched on there uh, it's not too far off for the uh, width I've seen other videos and you can see the links down below as well of people stretching their tires to make it work and uh, some people do it for style so uh, this one doesn't seem too far off so I'm sure it'll work 